Hey guys, it's Patini Gal, and we are back over in Stardew Valley. And this should hopefully be the last voiceover of this I need to do. Um, I'm not going to say it is or isn't, but uh, yeah, hopefully for now it will be. So um, we're going to see what we can get into today. And spirits are very happy today. That's super cool. Um, so maybe we'll do something. I don't know. I don't know if I want to go to the mine because I've never have good luck in the mine. Um, bunch of carp playing around and no idea what to do with them. Okay, so we got carp surprise, um, which I don't think we have any carp, so we'll be fine. We'll be able to make it. Um, I do think there was an episode where I went to the secret woods and I all I caught was carp, so if we do that again, we could get some carp for um, that dish. So that's super cool. Cause, uh, you know, now that we have a kitchen and we can actually cook, that'd be super awesome. And, um, now that we have a greenhouse, we can cook, you know, we can make whatever we need to. Um, we just have to kind of stock up on seeds, uh, throughout, you know, the different seasons. Cause I usually use all the seeds, um, in each season. So maybe I should try to see what we need and like what would come in handy if I kept it around. That might be something good to do, but oh well, we'll do that sometime. <laughs> so I think, uh, what am I trying to, I think I'm doing a sprinkler. I think that's what I'm trying to make. I could be wrong. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Yep. Quality sprinkler. See, I was right. So I definitely want to get um, the greenhouse kind of set up to be able to plant stuff in there and get it going. And uh, let's check here and make sure there's nothing. Oh, there's there's stuff here. Awesome. I don't think I have inventory space for it. Um, yeah, I don't. <laughs> I, I don't know why I keep trying, but uh, I don't have inventory for it. But uh, anyway, so let's go over to the greenhouse. Um so that means we can't get this supply crate either, which is fine. We'll get it in a, in a sec. But uh, I want to set up the sprinklers in here so we can get stuff growing. And uh, that will be super cool. So trying to space these out um, where they're enough where there won't be any extra stuff around that we have to water. And it... I think it works on this side, but I don't know if it works going all the way down. I'm not sure if that actually does work or not, but it's okay. I just want to get things started here. And um, I last time in my original Stardew Valley um, series that I did, I put trees along the sides of the greenhouse um, just so we could have all of the fruit coming in. We do have the cave that gives us fruit, um, but like right now I really need the apples because I need to get three apples for the community center and I only have one, I think. I think I have one apple. Um, so I would really like to get an apple tree for in here, but um, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work or not. I think, I want to say it's like 4,000 gold. Is it? Something like that. So we definitely have a ways to go. Um, but, of course, I think when I did that, I pretty much didn't have to worry about money anymore because I was pretty pretty good on everything. But the other thing we can do is just make sure to check the cave and uh, get whatever is in there every day. So right now I'm going to plant this stuff. It's not going to be super um, ordered because... You know, some things I didn't get enough of. And I think I also put mixed seeds in here. So that doesn't really go with anything. But I just want to get everything planted. I definitely want to get the wheat going so we can get um, that for the mill. So we can get flour and get that um, done for the community center. I was going to say greenhouse. That's not what it is. But, yeah, so I just want to get everything set up in here. And I, I don't think I water this because it's going to get watered, you know, tomorrow. So I'm not going to worry about it. Um, we could do it, but I just, I don't think we really need to. 
Um, the, I don't like these kind of plants that have the trellises because you can't walk around them. It's super annoying. I wish um, you could still walk through them. You know, like they were kind of invisible as far as that goes. But you can't, so oh well. It's fine. So I'm going to see what we got in here. We got some seeds. Okay. <laughs> More seeds to plant. And um, obviously I still have the sprinklers from the farm that we need to put in here. Um, but for now, we'll just, you know, plant what we get and see what happens. Um, if you guys know of, like, I don't know, the best seeds to plant um, throughout the seasons, let me know. Uh, obviously, like, ancient fruit and... Um, the, uh, what's the other one? <laughs> it just, just totally flew out of my head. Um, ancient fruit is one of the best, I'm sure, to uh, grow and that kind of thing. But I don't know. I mean, there could also be food crops to grow, you know, so we can make enough for food. And I'm trying to figure out why I'm not getting the stuff from the tappers here, but I guess I have to go on the other side of the tree, um, which is kind of weird, but it's okay. We get it eventually. But I keep forgetting that you can just shake these trees and get the um, uh, the acorns and stuff out of them, which is super awesome. But I keep forgetting it, um, which this is, you know, one of the reasons it's good to have these trees so close together because you can literally just walk through with the right click held down and um, just, you know, get everything. So I don't know. I guess there's good and bad for having it so close together, but it's okay. You know, well, I don't know. I still kind of want to spread them apart, but let me know what you guys think. What do you, how do you make your little tree farms in Stardew Valley? Or do you make tree farms? Um, or do you just go and like, uh, cut down the trees outside of this, this area, you know, in, in town and stuff. Cause obviously you could go do that, you know, every day and get wood too, but. Um, I'm going to see if this bee house will, uh, actually go into the greenhouse. I don't know if that's a thing, but we're going to try it and see. So I'm just running around, you know, trying to figure out what, what to do, but I definitely need inventory. So we're going to go ahead and put some of these up and, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and make some of these into or put some of them into preserve jars i kind of want to keep the peppers just because everybody seems to like the hot peppers uh but i i don't know i i figure i'll i'll put the starred stuff into the jars and see if that gets us better money uh because you know money is uh, always a good thing so that is done there, and uh, we'll go ahead and go pick up the bee house here. And I think that's all we do here on the farm, isn't it? Or do we... Oh, I, I saw the worms. I was like, what am I doing? Okay, so <laughs> we're going to break that because I hate those things just stand, you know, just staying there. And I wish they would go away. Like when you don't water it for a while, I wish it would just go away. But just you hit it with the pickaxe and you'll be good. Or I think an axe will work too. Pretty sure. So. I need to go down and take care of the animals. What am I doing? <laughs> uh, oh, rare seed. I definitely want to plant that in the greenhouse. So I need to make another chest. So we can put a chest in the greenhouse. Um, but I don't know if I do that or take one of these. Eventually. But we'll go ahead and I don't know what to do with the unmilled rice. Um, so I guess I can just put it in the mill and make rice. Um, and I'm sure that comes in handy for cooking something, right? I keep forgetting about this one here just because, you know, it doesn't get watered and it's the only one. So we'll go ahead and <laughs> we'll try to keep remembering to water it. But you never know. So, um, I think I'm going to go and see what we can get out of our inventory. Um, but like I said, I do need a chest, so I don't know. We'll go down and take care of the animals here 
and oh, open the doors because obviously we forgot to do that. See, that's why I don't like to close them when it's raining because I never remember to open them back up. But, oh well. I mean, they'll, they'll be fine. They're just not going to be as happy as if they can, you know, run around, right? So we're just putting stuff up so we have enough room to uh, get things out here. Look at our little chicken. Look at our baby chicken. It's so cute. Um, so we have a new chicken and a new cow. So that's cool. Once they grow up, we can get more stuff from these guys. I definitely want to work on upgrading the, the coop and the barn, though. Because I want to upgrade it to the um, auto feed uh, thing. I think that's the next upgrade. Pretty sure. So I definitely want to do that. That will help out a lot. I just <laughs> I just opened it before. Um, so, yeah. I kind of like to um, take care of the animals before I open the door. But um, I think if you do it right before you go in, it doesn't really matter. So we'll go ahead and take care of these animals while we are in here. And it's kind of hard to tell, actually, the baby one. So... Obviously, that one is the baby and can't get milked, but I don't realize that, so it's fine. Um, so now we have uh, three animals in here. We can get another goat. Um, I don't think there's anything else we can get with this barn. I think we'll have to have an upgrade. And then we can get pigs, and that will be definitely something we want to do. Um, I don't know. Do we even... I would have to look at the list if we actually need truffles or truffle oil for the community center. Because I did the remixed option. So, I don't know. We may not need that, actually. Not sure. But, again, I think I forget to take the fishing pole. Or do I? Yep, I, I forget. <laughs> I should really remember that. So, I may have to do an episode in between just to get rid of all this inventory madness, but uh, you guys know me, it it, ha it happens, and uh, we just have to kind of live with it, right? So, we'll put some, I thought I had some in my hand just now. Well, I put the unmilled rice in just to uh, make that, but... We definitely want to keep on top of the wheat. And I may have to go buy more seeds. Um, well, it's only the 7th, so we'll be fine. We'll be good. But the next thing would be nice uh, to get is the seed maker. When we can do that, that would be a good thing to have. So we can make seeds out of uh, what, we, what we plant and then have more stuff to plant, right? I wish I had been able to keep the, well, I could have, but I wish I had kept the um, ancient fruit to make seeds out of, but I just really wanted to get the um, greenhouse repaired, so that's what I did. Hopefully, hopefully we can get another um, ancient fruit soon. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So... Uh, coming in here just to make sure there's no other spot I can put some seeds because I need to get them out of my inventory. And here we'll try to put the bee house. I think we'll put it over here just to see if it's going to work. I don't know if bees will work in a greenhouse, but we'll see. We shall see. So I don't know why I didn't plant while I was in here, but oh well. It's getting a little bit late. It's, you know, kind of dark and all that, so... We'll just make sure we can get things done. Um, and now that we have inventory, we'll go ahead and get this stuff. I really wish we get, got more apples out of here. It's so It's just crazy that you can't get as many apples as everything else. Um, what is, this is like episode 96, and we've only gotten one apple. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. I want an apple, guys. But, uh, actually I want two. Because I only, I, I need two. But, oh well. I guess we can't be picky, right? 
So I'm going to go ahead and put something here in the keg. Um, see, I have it. I have hay right there. Or not hay, but uh, is that hay? No, that's wheat. <laughs> it's the wheat, not hay. Oh, my goodness. And I don't know how long these things take to uh, go in the mill. I don't know if it, like, takes a day or longer. I, I didn't pay attention, but uh, definitely want to get that taken care of. And here we go back into the greenhouse to plant some. <laughs> I'm just going around in circles here, guys. It's fine. And I think here I'm looking to see if we can even make a uh, seed maker. Uh, but... Or um, maybe fertilizer. I don't know. Uh, those. It could just be a very basic seed. Um, I think. I think rare seeds can also be. Or is that just mixed seeds? That might just be mixed seeds that have that. I don't know. I think everything is done here. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, I mean we've got the glow ring. But uh, it's still not too easy to tell about that stuff and here we're gonna break this because it is annoying me <laughs> uh, so apparently you can't use an axe you have to use a pickaxe that's kind of weird but okay we'll go ahead and uh, get these seeds out of our way if we can't move it's probably a seed or a little tree or a piece of wood so either way an axe will will get it done so it's getting late, so let's get to bed. And with that, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a super blessed night or day wherever you are. Thank you so much for hanging out. Hope you have enjoyed. And um, if you haven't yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to get notified of videos as they come out. And if you have any questions, comments, tips, anything like that, leave those down below in the comment section. Love seeing those, and we'll get back with you as soon as I can. Until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye, guys!